Mike here. Welcome back to Grampy's Workshop. Boys, I'm glad you dropped in today. I got a little job going on out back behind the shop here. I'm going to show you what that is later on. But uh, for now, I need to cut a little piece of this piece of 2 by 6 I need to make a spacer. So I'm trying to cut it with my old King circular saw. I had this saw since, I don't know, since uh, since forever, right? And anyways, it's, a, it's not a bad saw. It works good. But it's noisy. Oh, God, it's noisy. And to me, the worst thing is, it's hard as... HE double hockey sticks to try to adjust the fence on it like you got to get in here at this wing nut and oh my good grief it's, in, uh, in fact uh, I even modified it and put a wing nut on it because before it wasn't a wing nut I forget what it was before but anyway there I got it all right I have to adjust that just a little bit deeper than two inches and that's the other thing that's the other thing you don't know really how deep it is because there's no measurement on it, so you just sort of set it up till. In fact, that could be. No, that could be all right. I've got to try and cut it square. See, see what I make out. Oh, I've got to plug it in too, right? <laughs> you know, a lot of guys are going to battery powered tools now. I still like the old wired ones. I don't know if it's just me or what, old fashioned. Man, look, I can't even. This saw is even hard to plug in. Let's go ahead and cut this off. But before I cut it off, I'd like to cut it square, and that's that's another thing that's hard to do on this saw. But anyways, let's see. Oh, what's that? Hey, buddy, we got a saw here for you. Are you Grampy from Grampy's Workshop? We got this here saw. Uh, I hear tell you're having some problems with your old one, so try out this new one. Oh, well, thanks. Hey, uh, that little piece is gone. Wow. Hey, what great timing, eh? I was struggling with this saw, and hey, I got a new saw. Let's open her up to what it is. <laughs> so, hey, how sweet is that, eh? Getting a new saw, just when I needed it, too. I tell you, boy, it must be living right. I see, just looking on the box, it's a Makita, seven and a quarter inch circular saw. So, gee, this is pretty neat, eh? Just when I was getting kind of at the end of my rope with that old king saw, I ended up getting this puppy. There it is, it's a Makita circular saw, double insulated. There's the instruction manual, so we'll keep that handy. You never know when someone may want to read instructions. Okay, comes with a Makita, Makita thin kerf, carbide tipped, seven and a quarter inch, 24 tooth blade. So first off, what I'd like to do is some comparisons between the two of them. So it, the Makita seems heavier. Yeah, the Makita is quite a bit heavy, heavier. Uh, just look at the shoes on them. The Makita certainly has a bigger shoe. There's a, a scale, dimension scale along here and along the front for adjusting the angle. It's nice and easy to get at out here at the front. But this is the part that I was most interested in. In order to check the depth on this old king saw, you saw me wrestling there with this thumb screw, and I had to put that thumb screw in myself. It was worse than that before I started. But this one just has a lever. You pull up on the lever, and you adjust the shoe wherever you want it, and you set the lever back, and it clamps it in place. So that's pretty sweet. I'm going to like that. It comes with a wrench. Uh, there's also a lever back here that will lock will lock the arbor so that you can turn that not get the blade off a little lever right there uh, on the king there was no such beast you just sort of had to hold it with a screwdriver or something and that was always a pain too trying to adjust or remove the blade uh, it's got a nice grip on the front there uh, but I must say the king, I liked having that knob out front like that. That came in handy. But this one, it's back here, so that's kind of neat. It's uh, your hand when you're holding it, certainly not in the way of seeing where the blade is cutting. It's a plug-in wired saw, and a lot of people are going with the battery-operated ones now, and they're great, eh? Because there's more times than enough that I've been trying to cut something, and all of a sudden I have to stop and worry, move my cord out of the way. But I like having the plug-in ones because you get ample power. 
and the power, if you can get an extension cord, the power is always there. I find with battery operated ones, although they're handy and convenient, very portable, when you need them the most, it seems to me it's when the battery poops out on them. Anyhow, uh, I like the Makita. I, I saw these saws a long, long time ago, and uh, it seemed to me when I held it and, and used it a couple times, it really cut nice. So I like this. I'm glad I got a, a Makita. Uh, there's an index mark here in the front that shows where the cut mark is. And I'm going to do a cut here in a second. I'm going to try and discover if that cut mark is on the inside of the blade or the outside of the blade. I'm thinking maybe that cut, that little V mark, is for the inside cut. And then this outside edge is for the outside cut of the blade. But we'll check and see that in a sec. But anyways, I really like it. So I'm going to set up a piece of wood here, try to make a cut. Hey, 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 sticker time again at Grampy's Workshop. I love sticker time. And uh, the sticker supply has been kind of drying up, but I got a letter this week from 6% Recycled. Well, I just started watching him about a month or two ago. Uh, he lives in Michigan, and what he does is he restores Jeeps and anything concerning Jeep. If it has a J in the name, he'll be on that like a dog on a bone, and he'll strip it apart, and he'll take it from junk to a really nice looking machine. He's working on a, a, a it's a, a Challenger and a Rambler combination. He calls it a Chambler right now. Pretty neat. Check him out if you get a chance. Uh, I'm going to put uh, his sticker on my sticker wall. I think I'm going to put him right here beside uh, Backyard Main. These stickers are always so hard to peel it seems to me. So I like this sticker. Made near Detroit. <laughs> and he's got a great little series going too. He's been going now for quite a little while, but it's uh, Michigan makes. And about once a month or so, he'll take a trip around the state of Michigan to different little fabrication shops and show you some of the neat things that's made in Michigan. So, you know, that's good, you know. Making stuff at home and supporting local, that's what it's all about. And uh, I think Canada too is a country. We have to get back into doing that too, is making stuff locally. So 6% recycled, uh, I guess I'm going to put both the stickers right here just to kind of even up my wall. Put them next to Logan at Fab Fun. So made near Detroit and 6% recycled. He's into Jeeps and anything mechanical. Check him out. He's a good channel. Tell him Grampy sent you. Okay, I have a set, uh, just a little 3 8 plywood set up here. So we're going to cut that or try to. So first thing I want to do is adjust the depth. So. Like I was showing, easy to adjust how deep it cuts. You just flip up that lever, draw the shoe down, and I need it about that deep probably. Now we're going to plug it in. And then I'm going to try and cut this. And uh, I'm going to start the cut by watching the blade, and then I'm going to check and see where this index mark shows up, right? So let's try it. Okay, one thing I just noticed, there's no safety interlock on it. That's interesting, eh? I, I wouldn't think you'd be able to sell a saw like that, but uh, uh, having said that, I like it. Uh, but you just pull the trigger. And it goes. It's certainly not as loud as the King Saw, so that might be a plus. But anyway, let's see how we make out here. Well, it cut like a new saw, no two ways about it. I just want to set this shoe down again. Just want to see how square this is. Uh, just a minute now, before I go into that, let's unplug it. Because there's no interlock on the blade, I just want to unplug it before I get my fingers really close to that, <coughs> to that blade. Uh, by the way, when I was cutting, it's the outside edge here is was lined up with that mark so that's fyi 
Let's see if this is square or not. Oh my god, it's dead on, it looks like to me. Okay, we're gonna cut, I'm gonna cut just a piece off the end of it here. It's got a little LED light in here too, I just noticed. That kind of shines down on your work, that's kind of neat. It makes a nice cut. Let's see if I can cut square with it. Right about here, right? Now we'll just check that. Nice that way. Pretty nice that way. By golly. I think it's a keeper. I like it. Well, boys, oh boys, I'm going to tell you that Makita saw is Grampy's Workshop approved. No doubt about it. It's a nice saw. I like it. You know that King saw that I have? That, that owes me nothing, eh? That saw is probably 25 or more years old. Yes, easily. Because, uh, yeah, it's cut a lot of wood. So, you know, I'm not complaining about the King saw, but it just comes a time when you have to retire them, eh? And I'm glad I got this Makita. It cuts nice. You know, it's a, it's a nicely balanced saw. I found with the King saw, especially when the shoe was down, you know, when you're making a thin cut, that... When you try to start the saw on the product on the wood, it seemed to tip a lot, and I think that had to do with the width of the shoe. You notice there when I showed you the Makita shoe is a lot wider. So when I was cutting there, especially on the plywood where I had the shoe down quite low uh, for a thin cut, narrow cut, uh, shallow cut, uh, as soon as I set the saw on the product, it flattened itself right out. You know, it was nice that way. And even though the Makita is heavier than the King, it's balanced nice so that as soon as you set it down, it's you know, it's a good angle of attack for cutting. Uh, your hand is comfortable on it. The, the two-handed the knobs. Uh, I, I can't, you, you know, <laughs> I can't see any downside on this Makita saw. Oh, I just like it a lot. And like I say, it's Grampy's Workshop approved. Thanks a lot for watching. I sure appreciate it, you dropping in. And, uh, you know, if it's in your budget to get a new circular saw, I check out the Makita because I think she's a great tool. Take care, folks. Have a great week. We'll talk to you soon.